we are back with advent calendar madness and today we're going to be doing something a little different we're going through the ipsy advent calendar i didn't know ipsy did an advent calendar but they do this retails for 149 dollars, so it's a little bit pricey supposedly we're getting 680 dollars worth of product in here it's 25 days there's full sizes and i'm excited to get into it i shop a lot of the boxycharm ipsy sales because they have some of the best discounts on makeup i feel like they really do have some discounted prices over there i have snagged so many deals from shopping those sales so i have some high expectations in some regards but also i do think i'm expecting a lot because if some of this stuff i could get cheaper individually off of their sales i'm gonna have questions you know what i mean so i'm trying to go in with an open mind i'm excited to see what's in here and very very fast before we get into it i just want to say thank you so much for all the love on the advent calendar series this will be the final day in this mini series but it wasn't the original final day there was going to be other calendars in here so that just lets you know there's going to be some other ones so stay tuned i'll leave the playlist down below but let's see if 150 dollars at ipsy is worth it it's a pretty big box and i do feel like it's quite cute although mine it came in a box in a box and it still was a little busted so it's not the most sturdy advent calendar i will give you that when it comes to the box itself it has a single layer with some boxes in it these are a little bit thinner but then there's a bottom layer with with some thicker boxes in it. All right, we're starting off with the day one as we should. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, okay. This is from Pacifica. This is the Disobey Time. It's a rose and peptide facial mask. It's like a single use, but that's day one. I think I need to like clear my mind from the amazing, amazing boxes we got just because it's not fair to compare this. Those are at a higher price point, usually like double the price or at least $100 more than this box. So I probably need to bring my expectations down just a little bit, just to be fair. Moving on to day number two, that was also in the top of the uh, like levels, I guess. I don't know what to call it. All right, looks like we have a tube here from Iconic London. This is the Triple Threat Mascara. I've never tried this before. Iconic London is one of those brands that is sold at Sephora and I think they have decent products, but I do find them to be very pricey. So I actually like if I'm gonna get something through them to get it through BoxyCharm or the sales through BoxyCharm because they are always on very steep discounts. So take that as you will. All right, three is just right next to two. I feel like it's just all at the top here. It goes in order. There's no hunting. If you hate the hunting process, you're not gonna get that with this box. You just kind of like day by day go down the numbers. This is from Josie Marin. We have like a deluxe size sample here, the Argan Beta Retinoid Pink Algae Serum. Never tried this product before. Definitely a smaller sample here, but it is a retinoid. Let me know if you've tried this, if you like the skincare product. All right, we're already on to number four. Okay, this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the Satin Lipstick, and this is in the shade cherry it's in like red packaging I've never really seen that before but it does seem like a full-size lipstick tube let's swatch this I'm like making sure it looks good <laughs> What does that say about my expectations? Okay, this is Cherry. Very pretty red, very holiday. I think this is my favorite item so far just because I feel like it's higher end, full size, and I do think it fits like the holiday spirit. So that is the Cherry Lipstick from Anastasia. I feel like we're finally getting to some good stuff. Next we have box number five, and this is, dun dun dun, oh, oh no. Okay, state. I like flung that. Oh my god. Okay, it says state of change joy perfume. There's also a little bar here for 15% off like a discount on the paper. Let's open it up and smell this baby. Oh, okay, interesting. It's like a perfume, like a solid perfume. Smells like wax that's kind of gone off. Yeah, that just smells like wax. Sorry, state of change, Joy. I'm not getting any joy from you. <laughs> I don't know if it's off or what, but I'm telling you it literally smells like I put crayon wax or just, you know, like a wax that's maybe gone off or sometimes things just smell waxy. That's what this smells like. I'm not getting florals. I'm not getting sweetness. I'm not getting earthiness. I'm not getting like any other scent, like, you know? Five is pretty horrible. Let's move on to six. I feel bad. I'm telling you, there are some great sales on Ipsy. Do not let this fool you. You have to dodge some things. Don't get me wrong. Like there's some no-name brands, whatever, but you can find like really great, great 
things like great brands great prices so I almost feel like though depending I could create my own 24 product advent calendar shopping the ipsy mega drop sale and just like wrapping it up you know what I mean for the same price and at least I picked those items and I'm getting a little ahead of myself we're only on day what six but still okay all right Anastasia again here's a stick highlighter this is in the shade iced out I'm not sure with some of these products like is iced out the color everyone gets because obviously for highlighters they're not all gonna work for everyone so there's a brush on one end of the highlighter I haven't tried these yet um, and then on the other side iced out seems to be maybe like a medium kind of tone so that one's not oh well, maybe like medium deep but that one's not really gonna work for me it's nice and soft, very silky, almost like a cream to powder kind of texture on it. So that would have been a good one, but the color just doesn't work for me. And that's part of what goes into putting color products into boxes. They're either gonna work or they're not, depending on people's skin tones. So that one is a good product, just not for me. I mean, we don't know if it's like a good product, but you know what I'm saying. Like, I feel like it has some nice value. All right, let's go to number seven. Come on, baby, let's... Let's see what we can get. Okay, this is from Wishful. This is the Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub. I wanna say this is the scrub that when you use it, it kinda like builds up on itself and then it feels like you're kind of rubbing off pieces of your skin type of thing. I actually had a full size of this. They sent me it like a long time ago and I enjoyed it. I thought it was nice. So I will get some use out of this. It's a travel size, but I like the brand. I believe Wishful is a Huda Beauty kind of sister skincare brand along with Kaoli being the perfume leg. They're really like, they have every beauty sector honestly taken care of within the Huda Beauty universe, I feel like. But I am excited for this one. I will say another thing to kind of say about this. I'm definitely getting different products than I did in some of the other beauty advent calendars. So there's a positive. Look me, <laughs> look at me go. All right, we're on to day number eight. This is, let's see, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, okay. These are from Lottie London. They are packaged nicely. They're little quads. So we got the quad in the mauves, which are more mauve toned, imagine it. <laughs> and then this one's called the rusts, which are more rusty tones. I haven't tried these before. I have more of the nine pans, which have been sent to me from Lottie London, um, but I really haven't tried them a ton. And I actually kind of like these littler guys. You guys know I love a quad. So maybe these will work for me. I'm not gonna lie though, like not that drugstore's bad, but when I'm paying like $150, I want more high-end stuff, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> At least it's full size though, we got two in there. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, that is just a personal thing. We're keeping it moving, number nine. Number nine is Chase Luce Beauty. This is Becky G's brand, I believe, and this is the Plumping Lip Gloss. This almost looks like a mascara, it's like pretty jumbo. Let's open it up actually, it's called Dazzling. Oh yeah, it's substantial, like <laughs> this gloss is a pretty big gloss. And it has a nice smell on it. I love that it's just like kind of a, a beige shimmer, more translucent. It looks beautiful, smells beautiful. So I'm excited to try that. But you know, one of the reasons I wanted to get this video up before some of the other advent calendars that I have is because of the fact that if you wanted to, you can buy this. So I will leave links down below. You might have to be subscribed to Ipsy. I am subscribed to BoxyCharm, which they are one brand now. But I know a lot of people who just have their card on file can still shop the sales without getting the boxes. So I don't know. You you have to figure that out for yourself. I can't figure it out for all of us guys. I'm so sorry, but I know there's kind of this like weird, I don't know if I want to say loophole, but kind of, I mean, the loophole is to give them money. So, you know, anyway, why I wanted to do this is because I thought it would be interesting to look these products up and see if they were a part of the sale and see what they're selling them out individually. If I can, just because I feel like that's a real value, right? Of the box. Like if, I don't know. I just thought it'd be interesting with the math. You know what I'm saying? And the reason I'm just bringing this up now is because when I was on the site earlier, I noticed that there was a lot of this brand specifically. So this gloss specifically, like this is a great example. It retails for $16, but they're selling them. You can buy them on the mega drop sale for $4 a piece. So no matter what they want to say, like the value is and how much you're paying all that, I kind of want to see if like, again, <laughs> the $4, like if I add up what they're selling them for, what would that equal in terms of the price of the box if I can. Some of these might not be available, but I feel like because they offer such good deals, like I almost am like, is it gonna hurt you? <laughs> 
almost like maybe this should have been priced cheaper, but we'll see. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong with the math. We'll see where the math adds up. So really this is like $4. And they do have the dazzling shade specifically as well. So let me go back and see with these other items real fast, like where we're at, just so we can get caught up as we move forward. All right, the Anastasia stick highlighters, they retail for 34, but they sell them for 23. So I still feel like that's a pretty good value considering it's not like, a four, a four dollar one. I didn't see specifically the shade iced out. I saw the shade bubbly. So there's that to factor in, but I still think it's a good comparable. I don't see the other Anastasia product at all there. So I can't really give a comparison on that one. I don't see Wishful at all either. I do see the iconic Triple Threat mascara on there. It retails for 27. It's on sale for 18. So I feel like that's more the value I'm looking at. 18 on this one. The Little Josie Marion sample, I don't see it. So it can't give a value for that. I didn't see any anything for state of change, you know, the waxy fragrance balm thing, solid fragrance. So probably a good thing. I'm glad no one's being able to buy that. Although that also makes me sad that it's in my box. I didn't see any of the Lottie London on the sale specifically currently, but I also didn't find quads from Lottie London on like their site or anything. I'm assuming these are probably like a five-ish dollar value each. And then this is a $4 value. So that's where we're at so far. All right, now that we're caught up and I feel like have a more accurate idea of what's going on here anyway, I think. Let's move on to day number 10. All right, what could it be? Let's see here. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> it's not looking good for this box. I'm trying so hard to like, just make it through the top layer at least, but man. Aveda's Botanical Repair Bond Building Styling Cream. It's a small little sample. I have to say a lot of the times with these little samples, they'll do like, you can add them to your bag or your box for like 350, sometimes like $6, so you know. Okay, let's go to number 11 though. Let's see what we get. Give them La La Beauty. This is a bronzer in the shade Bora Bora, and this is what it looks like. So let's check some prices. All right, I didn't see this Aveda product on there, especially not necessarily a sample size. They do have some like bigger sizes on there, something slightly comparable. They do have a 50 mil, which is this 10 mil, just to give you a comparison. The Botanical Kinetics Oil Control Lotion, that's normally $38, but they're selling it for $8. So for a sample of this size, I really do think that 350 price is probably what they would maybe sell it for. As for the Give Them Lala bronzer, they have the bronzers on the sale right now. They're normally $26 for $9, but the one they're talking about is the full size 7.5 grams. So it'd be $9 for a 7.5 gram one. This one is only 2.7 grams. This is a small size. This isn't the one with the mirror that they're showing. So to me, this is like, again, like that sample price of 350. I'm literally not even trying to expose this box. I was hoping, I mean, there was a part of me the thought mm, it'll be interesting to see since you guys already do deals and I like shopping on the sales because I'm a savvy shopper and I did think that the price of the box seemed kind of high and so far it seems like that is the case but maybe we have some really big huge things in the bottom the top part is the skinnier part I'm trying to hold out hope here guys I'm really hoping that bottom layer with the extra depth gives us something more really brings it home because right now it's looking bleak and I feel feel like, yikes. Okay, this is seems good. Day number 12, Skin Ink. And this is what it is. It came broken. Well, just the bottom was all the way screwed off. Don't know if it's supposed to, um, but I would need to put some batteries in here. It's a little scuffed up as well. Let me see what they put this on their site for. All right, I'm really glad that they had this on their site. This is, <laughs> this is a scam. This is kind of a scam, y'all. Okay, Skin Ink Sculpt Lift Bar. That's what this is. It's 24 karat gold. It does retail, it says $125. So like a high value, right? But they're selling it 94% off on their site right now without getting this whole box I could go buy it on the ipsy site for eight dollars so really it's eight dollars it's not a hundred and twenty five dollars it's eight <laughs> okay it'll be interesting if like <laughs> Generally, it costs me more to get it packaged up like this there is value in the packaging and the day thing but Come on. It's really not looking good, guys. 418. All right, I added up just the stuff from the top. I was really gracious for things that I didn't have like a thing on. I put the full price for this, the ABH lipstick. As for any of the samples, I did the 350, I'm telling you. I know the sales, okay? Trust me, I know the sales. <laughs> 
And then a lot of the things I had a price for that I would pay on the Ipsy site. And so to me, we're at $107.50. So, you know, we're getting close to that 150. I just don't know if I can say the values there so far. And it does feel like things that they're just trying to get rid of, which is kind of the whole thing with Ipsy. Maybe I should have expected it. And I think my biggest problem with this so far is just the price. Like I think that the box should have been way cheaper than $150. But let's move on to the bottom. Let's see if I can save it. I'm holding out hope. I'm trying here. I'm sending up a prayer, you know? We're on to 13. <laughs> this box is really big and what's in here sounds tiny. Let's see. Oh my God, let me throw it around. All right, I think this is one of the good things, a tattoo pencil liner from KVD. It's one of the gel eyeliners, so it's not like the liquid one. And it's in the shade Magnetite Gray and it's in the cap <laughs> and it's literally in the cap right now. It did fall, so maybe, you know, there's that. Yikes, guys. It seems kind of dried out, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but it is a gray color, so there's that. This is probably still, uh, despite everything, one of the best items in here. I wanted this to be good. I wanted this to be good. Uh, I don't see this on the sale currently, so there's that. Let's just keep it moving though. Day number 14, and this is from Huda Beauty. This is the Legit Lashes Mascara. This is exciting. This is the one with two different brushes. I remember this being a whole thing. I didn't see this on the major sale, so that has me excited. I'm glad it wasn't on there, and this retails for $30. $31, one of the better items as well. All right, day number 15. This one feels pretty big. This is from Keys Soul Care, the Skin Transformation Cream. I've definitely seen this on the site. Let's see if it's there. I am excited to try this one for sure though. All right, so this retails for $32. They do have it on this sale currently. So they have it on sale for $10. You can buy this exact cream on the Ipsy site where you get the box. The only other place that you can even get this calendar. So this has a $10 value to me. Like I'm just saying, Saying, like you know I think the problem we're running into is that with other advent calendars there's no other way to get the items that are gonna be in that calendar for a discounted price they're only that price because you buy them in the calendar not knowing what you're necessarily gonna get or kind of risking what you're gonna get whereas with the ipsy they do offer these items at a discount on their own and so I think that's where figuring out what's gonna be a good value for the customer or not I think there has to be more consideration to that because of that difference if that makes sense but this is one of the items Items I've been tempted to pick up in the sale, so I am excited to have it, don't get me wrong. So far, the bottom of the box is faring better. Day number 16, this is from Elemis. This is the Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Wash. This is definitely an expensive item. We were seeing some Elemis products in the last boxes, like the luxury, like UK beauty boxes, so great brand. I'm not seeing this exact product currently during the sale, so um, this might be though like a 10, 12 value looking at some of the other items, but let's move on to number 17. All right. Right, this is pretty big. Briogeo. This is the Be Gentle, Be Kind Aloe and Oat Milk Ultra Soothing 3-in-1 Cleansing Bar. All right. Definitely a different type of item in here. I'm not seeing the cleansing bar on here, but the Be Gentle, Be Kind Aloe and Oat Milk Ultra Soothing Detangling Spray. It's currently sold out, but they were selling it for $12 from the $25 price of it. And I've definitely seen some of the Briogeo stuff on there, but this is interesting cleansing bar here. Here. It's for hair, face, body. You can kind of use it wherever. Moving on to day number 18. This is a, ooh, okay. We're getting a bunch of the hair things in here. These are from the brand Gimme. Gimme. I don't know if I want you to give me. It's a bunch of these like little ring things, which to me, there's a lot of them. I'm glad they didn't just, you know, Sephora would have been like, here's day, you know, 18. At least it's a whole pack of them. There's some neutral colors. I think this is still useful. Maybe not the most value, but still. And I personally don't think it's like looking good for them. I didn't see this exact one on there, but they do have a Give Me Beauty Fashion Scrunchie Variety Pack. That one only has five in it. This does have more than five, but that's also $5. Like you could buy at five dollars for the sale so to me this has about a five dollar value that's what i look at it for moving on to 19 this is a brand i don't know if i've ever tried it's from vor and it's the she's like the wind invisible dry shampoo and conditioner it looks like it's a 
powder. I'm gonna open it up. Yeah, it's a powder with a pump instead of like an aerosol. So that's kind of cool. I didn't see this on their sale site at all, but it is at Ulta Beauty for $20. So that's kind of cool. This might be one of the better items I feel like. On to day number 20. <laughs> oh, this like brings me back. It's so tiny. This is the bag balm. Do you guys remember this? It's like reminds me of like my grandma or maybe even my mom having one of the bigger tins and it's just like a, a skin moisturizer kind of salve type product. I don't think I've ever seen bag balm sold by Ipsy in the sales. It's not on there currently, but you can get the mini tin at like Walgreens for like $6.99. So that doesn't have a ton of value, but it's like an interesting product. Don't normally see that. Moving on to day 21. This one's pretty good in value. This is from Elemis. It's the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Definitely a very expensive uh, facial cream. I think I have gotten this in one of my boxy charms in the past. So I definitely know to get my Elemis if I really wanted it from one of these sales. They don't have this on the sale currently, but but I know this is bringing some good value. I'm very, very happy that this is in here. These are the items I was hoping we were gonna get, like the very high priced ones that they were really gonna make this a luxe Ipsy box for the advent calendar and for the holidays and everything. So I'm very happy with day 21. Day number 22, this is from Glam Glow. This is a nice brand. It is a deluxe sample, but I still am happy with this. It's the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. I like using this as a spot treatment and they tend to sell the travel size. They don't have this one exactly, the Super Mud, but they do have the Thirsty Mud and the Gravity Mud in the trial size for $8 over on their site. So I feel like that's more what I could pay for something like that through Ipsy. All right, day number 23, we're closing in here and there are 25 days. I think I said there were 24, but there are 25. And we got some brushes. I'm happy they included some brushes in here because I actually really like this brand specifically. These are the SL Miss Glam brushes and I've used some of these in the past, got them through BoxyCharm and I think they're soft, they lasted well. They have always like two cute little gems on them. So I feel like these definitely could be nice for someone. I don't see this exact set on there but there is a singular brush that they have on the sale for $3 and then they have like a bigger set of brushes that is on the sale for like 18. So I feel like this falls somewhere in between that. Day number 24. We have a full size here of the Diana's Hand and Body Goat Milk Cream Moisturizing Treatment. It is for hands and body. I'm not super familiar with that brand. I feel like I see that one sometimes when I'm at Cracker Barrel, sometimes when I'm, what else am I doing? Maybe grocery stores, like more natural grocery stores. So this is on the Ipsy site at all. This is in the scent vanilla bean. I'm very excited about that actually. And I looked it up on Ulta. This retails for $12 for this full size. I'm excited about it, even if it's not like amazing, amazing high price value. And the last 20, we're on day 25. It's Christmas morning okay we've opened this every single day it's Christmas morning what are we gonna get for Christmas morning it seems lightweight dun, 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 dun. and it is a beauty sponge this is from dose of colors I actually really do love the dose of color sponges so like in terms of an item I really do like this but 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 but, but, but let me just say I think on their own site like dose of color site they've had these on sale for like five dollars and I stocked up bought a bunch of them so you could definitely find these cheaper let's look let's look all right they aren't currently Currently on the Dose of Colors site for $5. They're like $15 or so. I do love these though. I think they're really great. I'm just a deal. I'm a savvy shopper. You guys know that. I'm on the Ipsy site because I'm a savvy shopper. So I am happy with this item for sure, but I just know that I can get this, you know. $5 usually. So here we are. Okay. I do think you're going to get $150 worth of stuff, but it feels like you're kind of getting that. And you could probably, if you shopped around on the Ipsy site, if you shop at TJ Maxx, if you kind of are aware of deals going on with certain brands that Ipsy kind of sells, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point. I'm not really sure if the value is good enough for this one. And I don't know. Let me know. Am I just being like too picky? You'll have to let me know. But I just feel like if you're already shopping on Ipsy and and they have great deals. This is not more of a deal. I do not think that this is the thing you should get someone maybe as a gift, but it's just so high priced. You literally are better off. I feel like shopping the deals, picking exactly what you want out for people and giving yourself even a budget of $150 and seeing what you can get. And you're going to know you're going to like every item. You can maybe find some even better deals. Like I just don't know if this was worth it. To be honest, I think I'd be better at like maybe the 75 or 79 dollar price point, I would feel like, wow, that was pretty good. 
And I don't know, again, maybe I'm just delusional over here, but I would rather spend a hundred more dollars and get some really awesome brands, some things I can't get on discount than this. It feels like a mix of like getting rid of stuff that they have a lot of. I just expected more prestige brands. I expected like the best of the best items from Ipsy and I really feel like it was a missed opportunity. They really could have done that. And instead they're like beefing up the value, I feel like of the box. Like this is $125 valued item is going toward that $680 value they're saying the box is. But is this though? If you're selling it for $8 on your site individually, is this really adding a ton of value to the box? Do you feel good about that? Do you feel good about that? Do we feel good about that? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Even this with the Give Them Lala Beauty, it's like, why not give us the full size? You just gave us the sample instead of the bigger one. I did think it was interesting some of the items that were in here that I don't feel like I've seen and it feels like, I don't know, like <laughs> did someone just stop by the store and grab these real fast to put in the box? I don't really get it. And this was truly one of the worst things, literal trash to me in here. Not surprised, but you know, not necessarily super happy with this. Again, for $150, when I think of other calendars priced at $150, I'm thinking of the Yes Style Advent Calendar, which is all full size products. You're getting 24 days. If you haven't seen me open up that calendar, I'll leave it linked down below and they are restocking that very soon. So if you didn't get your hands on it and you wanted to, that to me, that's like 164, so a little bit more money, but it's full size, so much skincare. I just feel like it's a better box. That one makes me feel so much better than this. I'm surprised we didn't have more full size items in here. I kind of want to read over the description again. When I buy these things, I try not to look too much into them because I want to be surprised. I want to have like the true reaction here with you guys. But let's see, it says it's 78% off. I do like, come on, 78% off? You're No. Unwrap the magic of the holiday season with our 25 day advent calendar stocked with a mix of 18 full size faves. Like, is this a full size? Because I'm moving everything over here and I'm being generous. I mean, yeah, that's a full size, I guess. I mean, the brushes are full size, I guess. I don't know about that. And seven deluxe size samples, including brand new pick. Is the bag bomb the brand new pick? I'm not sure. It's the ultimate beauty lover's treasure chest featuring everything from mesmerizing makeup to glow giving skincare and so much more. The brands that they're like touting to try to get you to buy this, the Glam Glow Super Mud, which I do think is one of the better things, they do tell you to which ones these will be full size or not. The KVD Beauty Liner, the Briogeo Cleansing Bar, the LMS Cream, they know this is a good one, the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara, and then the ABH Highlighting Stick, which they also do say it's going to be the shade Iced Out, which is nice. You can kind of see if that's gonna be the shade for you. But I really do feel like the items that they're telling you in, that are in here, the brands, Briogeo, Elemis, Huda, Anastasia, Glam Glow, those are the best items in here. Other than that, like I just don't feel like it's giving. Lottie London, didn't want to mention that. Bag Bomb, you sure you didn't want to mention? mention that one. And this I think goes back to kind of what I was thinking earlier where I feel like it's just either better to buy a few items. If you have $150, think of what you could get at Sephora. I know you're not gonna get as much as this stuff, but you could get some really great items you're gonna love. Things that have been on your wish list for forever. And I think it's a better use that way. I think it's better to just spend your $150 in the Ipsy sale itself. I'm telling you as much as I'm ragging on this box, I really do like shopping the Ipsy sales. I really do think you can find some great discounts there so I think your money's just better spent that way instead of in the advent calendar really I feel like the advent calendar is a scam <laughs> just shop the mega drop sale just pick exactly what you want get those good deals get those discounts do not go for the shock and surprise they're gonna surprise you with everything that's either in the sale or you can get on sale somewhere else at some point or isn't that valuable like I just Hmm. I definitely don't feel like I got my money's worth. I do not think this is worth $150. I think there are so many better ways. And what I was trying to say is that with advent calendars, I really do feel like it's go big or go home. And I feel like if you just put a little bit more money in the pot, that Selfridges calendar, you guys, that is $245. Yes, it is a hundred more dollars, but I am telling you, I got way better items in there. I got way better items, new items, things I can't get on a discount. I really feel like the value in that box for a hundred more dollars, I was doubling the value of the products and they're more of a true value. Again, things that you aren't necessarily able to get on sale via the same site for $4. Do you know what I'm saying? So anyway, let me know your guys' thoughts. I hope I'm not being too harsh, but I was really hoping. I thought this could have been a really cool opportunity for Ipsy to do something big, especially since they were charging that higher price point. I was like, okay, let's go. Let's see what you can do. Maybe you'll pull something out, but I don't personally feel like they did it. And 
I would not recommend getting this advent calendar. And I hope that if they do this in the future, because I don't know if they've done it in the past of my first year doing this, that they really think of the value for their customers and either drop the price or put in some better items. I also feel like even paying attention to the days, like we started off with a sheet mask and we ended with a sponge. And I just feel like even that little bit of attention to what days you'd be opening things could have just helped feel like they were putting some thought into it. I don't know, sorry if I'm being too harsh, sorry Ipsy. <laughs> You guys probably hate me. Um, I love shopping your sales, but I will stick to the sales and not the advent calendar from now on. And I kind of suggest you guys do too, but let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to bring you some more advent calendars. There will be some more. Stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.